Hello again from my front porch. Uh, I went out to the state fair last night, the Iowa State Fair, and it uh, <laughs> it was hot. It was it was well over 100 degrees yesterday. And now you have to understand, here in Iowa, we are used to the fact that when it's state fair time, it gets it gets hot, it gets warm. That's in, f in fact, we actually had a few days we got off easy. It was it was kind of more moderate temperature, which was a, unusual for state fair. But oh man, yesterday between the heat and the humidity, it was just. In fact, I had one of my friends post online said, is this how food feels when you put it in the air fryer? <laughs> it's like, that's actually a really good analogy. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I went out to the state fair. I, the original plan had been to go to the state fair pretty much all day yesterday, but there's some other stuff going on in life that uh, prevented that. And even if that other stuff hadn't been happening, uh, reality is it probably still wouldn't have happened because it was just stifling op oppressive. Uh, I, I had some friends who were out there all day. Now they varied from going indoor and outdoor and drinking lots of water, which is very smart, but still. Oh. And people that worked at the fair and the performers, especially, I, wow, my, kudos to you because that's, that's, that wasn't pleasant at all. I did go out last night though, because uh, I, unless, unless I'm on my deathbed, I do not want to miss Bob Dorr and his, well, now it's his, his blues review, musical review. Uh, it used to be Bob Dorr and the Blue Band, but then they, they retired the Blue Band uh, a few years ago. And so now Bob just, the, the, the State Fair keeps having Bob come back to, to still host a musical show on the Mid-American Energy stage on the last Saturday night of the fair. Uh, and and it's, it's still a, a big deal. Uh, but this year, this year was a little different. This year, uh, Bob started off, before we got into the shows, Bob started off with some comments about the future uh, of where, uh, where he is and where the whole thing needs to go. And so with that in mind, here we go. I'm going to start off by letting you see and hear from Bob Dorr himself. Usually, people who follow our band and go home by the 10 o'clock news nurse a diet Pepsi for two hours. Not like when we were kids 30, 35, 40 years ago when we could not drink enough beer. My thing is making sure that the fair continues and to prosper and to make a uh, living for all of the vendors who are working very, very hard, the uh, state fair people. What a fantastic job they do every freaking year, every year. Free entertainment on four stages, four on a Saturday. Do you know how many hundred band leaders just would kill to be able to play a free stage on a Saturday night? After 40 years, it's time for me to give it to somebody else to see if they can go ahead. That, that's the challenge. Go ahead. Get yourself 40 years and get back to me on this. I am, however, going to uh, stand in line and ask Tanya and the fair to move the review to the only Wednesday of the fair. Wednesdays at the fair now is Older Iowans Day. Hold on there. Bob, did, did Bob just say that Wednesday at the fair was, was, was old people's day at the fair? Wait, wait They had me sing national anthem on Wednesday. Hmm. Please join us as we honor the United States of America in singing our national anthem. Our singer today is Paul Smith. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets ripped away the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the hope of the brave. Anyway, back
back to Bob's comments. Most of the people that you see on stage would qualify. I'm thinking we'll just promote it. Nobody on stage is younger than 65. I want to go really bad. Anyway, so it, in my mind, it's not the last fair show, but it's the last fair show for me and Jeff on a Saturday night on this stage. When we started playing in 1983, people sat on boards suspended between hay bales. Honest to God, pea, pea gravel and boards suspended on hay bales. Take a look around at the state of the art facility that we have now. Mid-American, thanks very much. That great uh, jumbo trial up on the uh, Mid-American building gives you an access to the stage. What a fantastic thing. And those of you who have donated to the uh, Blue Ribbon Foundation, this is an example of what we have built together over the last 40 years. Thank you very, very much for that. Today, 19, I wrote out every check, I know, 19 <laughs> Iowa musicians and production people. We got the state's best stage manager, Dennis McRow, who doesn't play a note, is really, really important to keeping things on time. We have Iowa Public Radio's live music producer, Phil Moss. You've heard his work on my radio shows many, many, many years. He's been part of the Iowa Public Radio production team for 28 years. Before that, for the 13 years before that, he traveled with the Blue Band. Thanks very much for one more time, Phil. We're going to start out with the Cedar County Cobras. Talk to me, baby. 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 Talk to me, baby.
Bob Dor uh, is the is the center pin of this entire uh, event. Uh, he has this variety of other people coming in, like the 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 folks that he just spotlit and that he joined uh, with performing, uh, and they did an excellent job. But of course, you know, Bob Dor is the, the the big attraction. Well, for most people, and I like Bob too, but for me and for uh, folks right here in this immediate central Iowa area, especially. We, we, we're kind of drawn to hot tamale. Yeah, you know, the, the hot from hot tamale and the red hots, they, they've sort of retired now too as a, as a, as a, as a group. But Cindy Grill, my, my really great, beautiful friend, talented performer, one of the most energetic front people uh, of, of a regional band in the area here that, that I know. Uh, and she was, she, again, Bob Dorr, a few years back, invited her to, come and, and join in with this review that he was doing. And she has been a phenomenal hit. The people just love her, uh, understandably so. And so he had her back again this year. And so for me, it's a thrill to get to see my friend Cindy Grill performing on stage at the State Fair with Bob Dorr and this entourage of other extremely talented musicians, literally from all across the state, sometimes outside the state as well. So, here, uh, you're going to see a lot of Cindy from this point on. Ken, one thing, you know, I was telling you about uh, this 40th year would be uh, Jeff and my last year of a Saturday night on this stage. And uh, I was thinking, maybe we could have one of those two young guys. Sleepy's already played four and he just turned 20. So he's only got 36 more years to go and he can catch up. And he won't even be 60 yet. Nolan's got about 10 and he's only 30, so those two guys could take over for the next 35 years. Oh, yeah. Or maybe Cindy could do it all. All right. <laughs> this is Cindy Grill. Hi, everybody. Take me on the road.
This was the B side of our first single, what? Came out in 1946, 47? That's right, Bob. Patty C. <laughs> Did you notice the dancers in, in, in that clip you know, that, that I backed out and showed you some dancing? Thing? You know, I, remember, I said it was hot. It was blistering hot. It was, it was soak you in sweat hot. It was, it, I, I had napkins. I was constantly wiping off my forehead, my face, and the sweat getting in your eyes. And that's the most annoying part when it gets in your eyes and all that stuff. And everybody was just drenched. You could just see everyone's clothes stuck to themselves. When I got home last night, literally was peeling stuff out because it was just wet and just, it, uh, just gross. Uh, but, but in spite of that, you can't keep a good dancer down. <laughs> and when you listen to music like what Bob Dora and his, his entourage of musicians can do, the, the true dancers cannot sit still as you saw. But, but, you want to know what it feels like to be out there on the dance floor uh, during that song? Well, here, let, let me give you a little taste of that because this next one, a little experimental footage where I, I went out and I, I was uh, out there dancing with the others, but also trying to film while we did it. But that means you get first person perspective. You get as if you were out there dancing. Now, unfortunately, some of you probably can dance a lot better. I was doing my, dan my, my dad dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's how you're going to be dancing. <laughs> but here we go. Join the dancers out on that hot and sweaty, oppressive heat dance area. Here you go. How about some Freddie King? Huh? Yeah. Boys? Freddie King. All right. From the front.
If you know anything about going to a Bob Dorr show, you know that he has these Zydeco ties that they, that, that they sell. It's, 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 it's a washboard tie you, and, and you hook it on, which I'm not going to do because I'll hit my microphone, but you, you, you hook it on, you wear it, and then there's there's uh, metal uh, thimbles that you put over your, your into your fingers and you scrape on it, you know, just like a, like a washboard. Uh, mine is actually signed by Mr. Bob Dorr, which I'm very impressed, actually. That's a, that's a really good signature on such a bumpy surface. He must have practiced. I don't know. But still, uh, this, this thing I take out with me every year when I go out there so you can put this on. And, and then Bob has what he calls it the rubbing it time, where, where everyone that has these with them, you're supposed to put these on and, and you get up there and you're rubbing it. Uh, although, uh, I also have noticed in the last couple of years especially, he started calling the group that, that wears these, that, that, that show up, the, the Zydeco band, and uh, he's gotten really big into incorporating the Zydeco band into the show as well, including yours truly. Uh, and so, here you go, I, I, I cannot do a, a segment, a show about Bob Dorr presenting uh, and performing at the fair without including my participation in the Zydeco Band, and we are rubbing it! Let's go!
Yeah, I love playing this thing. This is it's so it's so it's just a lot of fun. It, and up here jamming around like that is great. And I've had people say, you know, you should take it with you, like when you go see the Vita Sisters or you know other Bob Pace or whatever. You know, take 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 this with you and play it there. But see, people would think that was weird. <laughs> you just show up with this thing and just start playing it, and people would be like, what's what's that guy on? What was? <laughs> But you go out to Bob Dorr performance out at the fair. Other people got these. You're play it's my tribe. It's my people. <laughs> and so I can play it out there. Uh, and so thank you, Bob, for, for making that acceptable in, in that environment. <laughs> Appreciate it very much. And in fact, I want to give just a, a, a broader thank you to Bob Dorr because he has done a tremendous job of being a, tr a big musical impact out at the state fair uh, 40 years now. Uh, originally started as the blue band and performing at the fair. In fact, you didn't see because I wasn't recording at the time he was making these comments, but he, he shared with the crowd that uh, when, when they first started, they started as a fill-in that, that, that somebody else was supposed to be performing, some other group was supposed to be performing and they weren't able to do it. And so they reached out to Bob and their connection was made. Hey, can, can your band, can, can you come play? And at that time, the state fair musical arrangement stuff was set up very differently. They weren't just playing on the last Saturday night of the fair. They had a slot every night. They had a, there was a stage and a spot, a time, and every night, Bob Dorn and the Blue Band they, 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 they played every night. Uh, and so that was a very different circumstance. But it was 40 years ago that that happened. Now, the last five years has not been the blue band because they, they retired. They, 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 several of them stepped back from that. And then it turned into this, what Bob does now, Bob Doerr's musical blues review, uh, where he, he spotlights other talent and brings other people in as well and, and creates kind of a, a pseudo jam session-ish kind of thing, if you will. But really, again, very effective, very, very impactful, very, very wonderful. And now he's wanting to shift from Saturday night open that up and move to a Wednesday night, which is, so he's not going away. He's still going to be there and I'm still going to get plenty of chances to play the tie. Uh, but, but he again is going to have an impact because he's going to open up that door to spotlight an entire other group, some other organization that can step in and launch their potential 40 year career playing at the fair, doing, you know, get stuff going like that. So thank you, Bob, for all that you've done. You're an incredible guy. Uh, and, 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 I, and I mean that sincerely. I have enjoyed for years now being able to go and, and uh, listen to Bob's talent and the talent of those he assembles around him. Uh, just, just a really great guy. Wonderful musician, wonderful man. Uh, and so with that, I'm going to let you go. If this is a long episode, I'm sorry, but if you watched all the way through to the end here, you, it was worth it because you got to listen to some really awesome music and you didn't have to go melt at the fair to do so. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so with that, I'll let y'all go and I'll see you next time from my front porch.